Welcome to Martin Zisman. He's with Angelino's Pizza and Pasta in Carrollton. I'll tell you, this is the finest Italian restaurant you find anywhere. And it's true what you said, Tim, about this is, this, is the be- <laughs> this is the best Chicago pizza in the whole state of Texas. But why don't we get to making a little chicken capri this morning. So yeah, can, this is a nice simple yeah, dish. This is a simple dish for you. We're going to uh, put in about a tablespoon of uh, butter in here. If I can get this out of here. A little, a spoon, spoon there. little spoon there. Yeah. Thank you, sir. I'm going to add a little, uh, put this right over here. I'm going to add a little bit of minced garlic to it. It gets kind of hot here. I'm going to put in a half a cup of uh, fresh spinach. And all the, all the ingredients that, uh, that I'm using today, you can find at the Rosemead Market, which is a great place in Carrollton. A little half cup of mushrooms, uh, about a half a cup of artichoke parts in here. I'm going to put in a quarter cup of uh, some sun-dried tomatoes. I'm going to put the rest of the minced garlic in here. And get this out of the way right here. I'm going to put in, this is about a pinch and a half of salt and pepper. And we'll put in about, uh, just about a pinch of uh, oregano in there for a little extra zest to it. Then we're going to add, this is probably one of your favorite things, Tim, right here, about a half a cup of white wine. You bet. Only Take some for the chef. Mixes, mixes all those flavors. Oh, yeah, only the good stuff. Then we're going to put in uh, two cups of heavy cream. There we go. You can kind of smell that wine working yeah. right away there. And while we're doing that, we're going to add in, this is about 8 to 10 ounces of linguine. And this has already been uh, parboiled right here. We're gonna is that the secret of the kitchen when you're, when you're turning it out is to partially cook it and then just kind of hold it until... It is, and actually a good trick for this uh, is when you're boiling up a bunch of linguine, you can cool it off in kind of like ice water. And then when you drain that out, add some, uh, uh, some olive oil to it. Okay. And so you can package it up and actually put it into your, uh, to your freezer. That's a great idea. And you can take this right here, and as this is cooking right here, just... Add the pasta to it, and this is all going to cook together right here, just kind of nice. This is a really simple dish right here, and if you want to make this kind of a lighter dish instead of the heavy cream, I like to use, it's kind of like a low-fat uh, uh, soy milk to it, and you can use kind of like a, uh, a little bit of cornstarch with cold water, right. you know, to thicken it up a little bit. Now you got some chicken over here we want to add some chicken in over well. here. There we go. This is about an uh, eight-ounce portion of grilled chicken. We're going to add that to it here. We kind of toss that around in here. And you guys, Angelino's is on Marsh Lane near yes, the uh, Bush Turnpike in Carrollton. Yes, sir. And a uh, family-style place? It's a family-style place that's run by uh, the Reddick family, super people. We're going to add, uh, the last thing was going to add a cup of Parmesan cheese, and this is what makes it just so good. 